Hello everyone and welcome. I am Danilo Rombolini and today I brought you to Umbria. We are in the central part of Italy and we are right in front of some outstanding landscapes characterized by lush green nature and breathtaking views. The property we are seeing today is a charming villa immersed in its park and with a beautiful swimming pool. Are you ready to see it? Come with me. The property is surrounded by its 2.1 hectares of outdoor space, which are about 5.2 acres. They are mostly made up of arable land, garden around the main villa, and on the upper part, we find some beautiful olive trees, enough to produce some excellent extra virgin olive oil. The property is accessed through this private gravel road, which leads to a parking space right in front. And as you exit your car, you find yourself right in front of the villa. Right in front of the villa, we have this beautiful, five by 10 meters infinity edge swimming pool. It is overlooking the stunning Umbria views and right around it, we find this garden, which also accesses onto the loggia, I will show you in a minute, which makes it all perfect to be used all together as a beautiful outdoor space to dine al fresco and enjoy the summer. Just a few meters away from the swimming pool, we find this spacious terracotta paved loggia. This is the perfect setting for summertime al fresco dining. When this beautiful wisteria plant blooms, it becomes completely purple and this setting becomes even more enchanting. The villa is 485 square meters, so about 5,220 square feet. It offers a total of five bedrooms and seven bathrooms and is laid over three floors with independent entrances to the two lower levels. The main entrance welcomes us in this large reception space. From this room, you can already understand the indoor style of the villa. In fact, it is full of huge openings. This lets so much natural light in and together with these light colors makes these spaces nice and bright. The reception room naturally flows into the lounge and sitting area. It is spacious, relaxing and beautifully proportioned. The villa was restored, keeping in mind the benefits of modern comforts. For example, these large openings with double glazed windows, they let in so much natural light. But at the same time, they've integrated some more traditional features, reminding us of Tuscany and Umbria and their farmhouses. For example, the terracotta floor with this smooth finish with this beautiful wood board integration over here, while on the sitting area, we find this stone working fireplace completing the look. Next, we find the kitchen, which is just as large, and it begins on this side with the dining area, nice and large table overlooking the swimming pool. By the way, both this door slash window and the one in the living area can open and let you access straight into the loggia. Finally, we get to the actual kitchen. It is nice and large, characterized by this spacious central island with worktop, induction stove. I love this black matte finish on both sides, finished well, with these wooden details. The kitchen is fully equipped with dishwasher, oven, and fridge. From this opening, we get to the bedroom section of the house. 
Let's begin on my right side with a comfortable washroom that serves all of the ground floor spaces. Then on my left side, we have the access to the underground floor with its wine cellar, storage spaces, and a large garage for cars. While in the end, we get to the first ground floor bedroom with its ensuite bathroom and access onto the terrace. Going up a few steps, we get to the second bedroom of the villa. Right by the entrance, we find this ensuite bathroom, nice and large with a shower. And next, we find the actual bedroom. As you can see, it is full of natural light, thanks to this double exposure on two sides. Over there, we find the walking wardrobe of the bedroom. And as you can notice, there is also air conditioning. On top of the tower, we find the primary bedroom. It is spacious and as well full of natural light. I love that through its largest window on this side, you can access onto a cozy balcony overlooking the Umbria views. Then right in front of the bed, you have the walking wardrobe. And right beside me, you find the access to the ensuite bathroom that has both bathtub and shower. From the bedroom hallway we've just seen, we now have this beautiful loggia on the back side of the villa. Here there is an interesting layout. In fact, there is a beautiful bedroom here with its ensuite bathroom, which has its own independent access. This room can be thought and used as if it would be a guest house. In fact, it is attached to the villa, but at the same time, fully private and with its own independent access and its own nice garden on the back side. In the end, we find another large room which is used as a cozy office space with its own independent access, total privacy and in total silence. On the back side of the villa, in a reserved position, we find its limonaia which is very important to store your lemon trees during the winter time. It can also be used as a storage. On the other side of the villa, there also is this nice loggia in a reserved position with fantastic Umbria views. From here, you access to the second guest house bedroom. In fact, it has this independent access and it is right here with its beautiful space and ensuite bathroom. We've now reached the end of today's property tour. I loved this home. I think it offers everything one could need in a beautiful holiday house in Italy and it is set on a fantastic position. Let me know if you liked it in the comment section below Please also share the video with your friends and in social media. Subscribe to the Romolini channel for the best homes of Italy every week. Until next time, ciao!